Well, tomorrow is signing day for high school football players committing to scholarships and colleges. There is no doubt Maple Grove's Brad Davidson will have a scholarship to sign next year. The only question is what sport? Mike Max has more. And then the second half, we just start hitting shots. Sit start with Brad Davidson and you are sitting with a well-dressed, polite, straight-A student. But that's just part of his resume. See, on Friday nights in the fall, he is the Crimson quarterback, and he is a good one. Leadership's probably the biggest thing, being able to communicate uh, mostly positively with your team, but also being able to get on them and having that trust between you and other players on your team. The kind of leaders that has followers, many. He's a hop on my back guys type of guy, which is neat, and I think, um, and he's actually still learning the art of that. It's tough. He's, he's so out in the front all the time that I think daily he's picking up things of how to do it and how not to do it, but he really embraces it. Watch him in the winter and you see the ultimate point guard. He can make plays and he can make players better. I think it's the same as the quarterback. There's the leadership and also the vision and just kind of controlling the tempo of the game and being an extended extension of your coach on the floor. That's why colleges come and watch and have made offers and overtures. And for basketball, um, I have scholarship offers from South Dakota, South Dakota State, Northern Iowa, Nebraska, Winthrop, Buffalo, San Francisco, Furman. He could play either sport in college, but admits basketball is his current favorite. In the meantime, he will enjoy what has already been an unbelievable ride. I'm so thankful to be able to go to school here at Maple Grove just because I've had great teammates and great coaches here. Um, I know it all of them. Now, both his parents played basketball at Minnesota Duluth, and he has two sisters playing at Northern Iowa. Maple Grove's showdown with Champlain Park tonight has been postponed until Friday. Meanwhile, Tracy Clay's head coach of the Gophers, big day for their football team tomorrow is all colleges as well. Linebacker Carter Coughlin of Eden Prairie, the top in-state recruit coming here. they got to sign that dotted line tomorrow. So it's big well, that's nice. Uh, absolutely. A lot of local kids staying here. Yeah. All right.